Hello, I'm John Trawick from Browning Trail Cameras, and I wanted to shoot a quick video today going over connecting your Defender camera to the Defender app on your smartphone or tablet. After downloading the Defender app, you want to turn your camera on and open your Defender app. You notice I have three different cameras that have been connected to my phone. The one we're going to connect today is the Defend 49E1. If you notice, the BLE symbol next to the camera name is in yellow. This means that the camera is in range and we can connect to the camera. The other two cameras that I have there, the Lake 2 in the backyard, are way out of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth range right now, but they still show up as a potential camera that I can connect to. So we want to connect to the Defender camera here at the bottom. We'll hit connect. If you notice, you have a blue BLE next to the camera name at the top. This means that your camera and your app are connected via Bluetooth. Now with the camera up and active, we want to turn the Wi-Fi on. So we'll contact the camera and we'll get the camera to turn its Wi-Fi on. If you notice at the bottom, we have waiting device Wi-Fi. Now that this bar is turned green, we have the Wi-Fi connection. On an Apple product, you have to manually go back and connect via your Wi-Fi settings to the camera. So there are all my Wi-Fi connections and I have a connection to the Defender camera. And go back to the app. And you'll notice at the very top, now we have a green Wi-Fi icon right next to your camera name. That means we are connected via Wi-Fi. Now we can download photos and connect to the camera. Okay, let's go to settings. Settings menu allows you to set any setting on the camera via the Defender app on your smartphone or tablet. You can change the photo quality, you can switch to video mode, um, you can even scroll down and you can reset your camera name. That's usually what I like to do first. Let's name this camera Field One. We're going to save it. We can also use the playback option to actually see the photos or videos on the camera that have been taken. This is really helpful if you, you can drive up near your camera. You don't have to get out of your truck. You can drive up close to the field and actually download images and check your camera right from your vehicle. And you don't have to actually walk out to the camera and disturb the area. You can select photos. You can download them directly to your phone. And you can also delete images as well off of the camera in the field. The live view function is very helpful in setting your camera up in the field. From your smartphone or tablet, you can actually see what your camera sees when mounted to a tree. So you can make small adjustments and get the camera pointed exactly where you want it to. <clears throat> if you'll notice, our camera has been successfully changed to Field 1 is the name of the camera. So when we're ready to leave the field and ready to go to the next camera, I'm going to go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi off. If you forget to do this, don't worry, the Wi-Fi will time out and the camera will turn off and go back into sleep mode so your batteries will not die. You can also unpair the device if you have several devices close together and you want to check multiple devices, just make sure you go back and unpair the camera from the smartphone. That's pretty much it. Um, thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy your Browning Defender camera.